How's it going everybody? My name is MacPerlsif and in today's video we're going to discuss how to get your first dragon in Dragon Lore. As you can see here I am next to an NPC and talking to the NPCs in the game will give you all the info you need. However, finding your first dragon is kind of uh, somewhat difficult. It takes some exploring. So follow me as we take the quickest path to getting our first dragon. Let's, let's go. I'm alone, but I'm still feeling like someone's with me. It's strange, I know, but I feel like you're here with me. Like chasing goals. I know you're out there. There we go. Once you get to this bridge, it may take a time or two to get across completely because that is quite a bit of uh, parkour action. But once you make it across, we're going to go into the cave of the volcano over there. So let's go ahead and start working across. There we go. Once you make it across the bridge, you're going to go ahead and head into the cave. And there's going to be two more parkour events that we have to make it across. So let's go ahead and do that. And one more. Make sure not to fall on this one. I fell in a few times because it comes up pretty quick. Then we'll walk through this little tiny maze here all the way to the end. Kind of turn around just a few turns here and then you'll have your egg. And here is where you'll pick one of three eggs. Any one is your choice. And once you have the egg, it's going to appear in your backpack. And if you zoom in, you'll kind of see that there's experience on the egg. There's an experience bar. And in order to grow that, we're going to need to head back to town and talk to the NPC and see what she says. So let's head on out there and see what she says for us. So we're going to go ahead and talk to her. How do I incubate my dragon egg? And she will tell you basically you need to walk on these incubators in order to hatch the egg. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And what I ended up doing was having to use the orange one for my orange dragon. And I simply walked on these squares, which gave me damage to my character. However, it kind of more or less leveled up the egg in my bag. And then you jump in the healing pool right here to uh, bring your health back to 100%. Then you just repeat constantly until your egg is 100%. And then you will head back to the volcano for it to perform its final hatch. It will not hatch until you go back to the volcano to do one last step. Let's go ahead and cut forward and show you that step. There we go. Once we make it past the bridge the second time, instead of going into the cave again like we did first, we're going to go to the left here and find a separate path that we can then just walk up. And assuming your egg is fully experienced and ready to hatch, You'll be able to place it right here on the platform and you will get your first dragon. Once you head back to town and start shooting animals, uh, you're going to notice that only squirrels will level up your dragon for the first five levels. And you cannot kill deer and have your dragon level up until level six. They're just too big for him. So head on back to town, start killing a ton of squirrels. And before you know it, your dragon is going to be huge and able to fly. Good luck, guys. Thanks for the thumbs up. Make sure to share with the buddy because a lot of people are uh, struggling to figure out how to get their first dragon. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Shoutouts to Smelly Men. Awesome content. And uh, keep up the good work. Good luck, guys. Time is unfair because I know you're out there somewhere. Patient waiting on who Feeling like your grip might slip too soon But I'm running, chasing speed and gunning